can feeling hungry make you live longer? So far, scientists have been able to discover various evidence that fasting within reasonable limits can affect living organisms in various positive ways. Recent observations even suggest that the feeling of hunger can affect life expectancy. And most importantly, you don't really need to be hungry. Just feeling hungry may be enough to slow down the aging process, researchers suggest. They based their conclusions on research on the dwarf weed, Drosophila melanogaster, a popular fruit fly. Researchers wanted to see if changes in the brain that stimulate the body to seek food could promote the therapeutic benefits of fasting. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Science. The latest research in this area was carried out by scientists from the American University of Michigan. However, scientists did not deal with any manipulations related to the amount of ingredients contained in food, stating that only its quantity is important here. At the same time, the researchers noticed that in reality the creature does not really need to starve, and only the impression of food shortage is important. So far, the world of science has had some data indicating that in the case of fruit flies and rodents, limiting the calories supplied to their bodies can have a beneficial effect on their health and lifespan. However, it is not possible to translate these conclusions to the functioning of human organisms. The researchers therefore decided to focus on these fruit flies. These creatures share 75% of the same disease-related genes as humans. You can also find similarities with humans in terms of how their brains function in conjunction with metabolism. What makes these flies feel full? Well, one element is crucial here. Branched-chain amino acids. It is their consumption that reduces the feeling of hunger in fruit flies. So, to see how hunger affected their lifespan, the researchers fed them foods low in branched-chain amino acids. It is interesting to note that this diet alone influenced their behavior. The tested flies were provided with various types of buffets, and with the above-mentioned diet, they decidedly more often chose food rich in protein than carbohydrates, which clearly indicates that they were driven by a sense of hunger, and not by craving for a specific type of food. The key thing, of course, is that this type of stimulation of the fly's behavior actually translated into longer life. But what could it be related to? During the research, it was noticed that the reduced content of these amino acids in the diet translated into the fact that the neurons of the flies responsible for the feeling of hunger began to prefer certain types of proteins, the so-called histones that help regulate gene activity. It is possible that histones are the link between diet, hunger and longevity. Of course, more research will be needed here. But it seems that a diet low in branched-chain amino acids can also be healthy for us, probably because it leads to adequate nutrition of our body while not suppressing the feeling of hunger. Plant control using artificial neurons. Scientists have developed artificial neurons that can integrate with natural biological systems. When connected to an American flycatcher, electrical impulses from an artificial nerve cell caused the leaves of the carnivorous plant to close at the request of the scientists. The neuron developed by scientists from the University of Linköping in Sweden is built of organic transistors. A team of scientists has been conducting research on the integration of artificial neurons with living organisms for years. Earlier versions of the device were organic electrochemical systems printed on a thin plastic film, made of polymers that can conduct both electrons and ions. They imitate the ionic mechanism of generating impulses, 
production potential in plants. These circuits form the basis of transistors. In the new research, the team optimized the transistors and used them to build artificial neurons and synapses. He also connected them with biological systems. The research results were published in the journal Nature Communications. In 2018, researchers at Linkoping University developed printed organic electrochemical circuits with polymers that conduct negative and positive charges. This made it possible to build organic electrochemical transistors. The group then optimized the organic transistors so that they could be mass printed on thin plastic film. On one such substrate, scientists print thousands of transistors. Together with colleagues at Lund and Gothenburg universities, the researchers used printed transistors to mimic the neurons and synapses of a biological system. For the first time, we are using the transistor's ability to switch based on ion concentration to modulate the pulse frequency, says Dr. Padine Polakal Harakesh, co-author of the study. The frequency of the pulses gives a signal that causes the biological system to react. In tests, scientists connected the developed neuron with a plant, the American flycatcher, Dianaea muscipula. We chose the American flycatcher to clearly show how we can steer a biological system with an artificial organic system and get him to communicate in the same language, says Professor. Simone Fabiano of Linkoping University, lead author of the study. We have shown that the connection between the neuron and the synapse has the ability to learn, in line with the Hebbian theory. Information is stored in the synapse, thanks to which signaling becomes more and more effective, adds Professor Fabian. According to the theory, repeated activation of individual synapses strengthens the neurons on both sides, making this signal more effective over time. When the transistors detect concentrations of ions with certain charges, they switch, producing a signal that can then be picked up by other neurons. Biological neurons operate on the same ion signals, which means that artificial and natural nerve cells can be combined. In tests with the American flycatcher, electrical impulses from artificial neurons were sufficient to force the plant to close the so-called trap leaves. The researchers hope their efforts will lead to the production of sensitive, responsive human prostheses, implantable systems for mitigating neurological diseases, and soft, intelligent robotics. We have developed ion neurons, similar to our own, that can be linked to biological systems. Organic semiconductors have many advantages. They are biocompatible, biodegradable, soft and formable. They only require low voltage to operate, which is completely harmless to both plants and vertebrates, explains Dr. Chi Yuan Yang, co-author of the publication.